as we've seen the last week or so, um, the movement of COVID in Australia has been quite rapid um, and caused a lot of issues in Australia with lockdowns and so on. Uh, naturally, we've been relocated to the Gold Coast. And then on the back of all of that, um, the Prime Minister of New Zealand came out and announced the pausing of the uh, Trans-Tasman bubble for eight weeks. Um, that takes effect from this Friday. Um, obviously, she's allowed a number of days for people to get back to, to New Zealand quarantine free. Um, on the back of that, um, what's happened is uh, we've had to reassess our situation and our situation is that we can't travel in the next eight weeks um, because there are no quarantine spots available. Uh, we've sourced all that information out, which means that we'll stay well beyond the, um, the end of the footy season. Uh, with that in mind, what it also does is doesn't give us clarity on what happens beyond the eight weeks. Um, we've done further um, investigation, if you like, as to what the quarantine facilities look like beyond that. And the first available option for us is early December. So uh, we're hopeful that things work in our favour uh, to get back on the planes on the 25th of, of September. We've got a number of seats booked, ready to go. Uh, the borders open, if the borders don't open. Um, potentially we're here for a lot longer. So with that becomes individual challenges for different people through various reasons and um, none greater for our club with certain players. And as you know, Roger this year announced in January that um, he was moving on from the club at the end of this year with our full support and blessings to go to Rugby Union. Um, with that in mind, uh, the challenge that's presented to us now is Roger potentially being stuck in Australia for an indefinite period of time, which is very concerning for his next phase of his career, which is rugby union. So over the last 48 hours, Roger and I have discussed at length uh, the options, um, what it means to him to do one or the other, what it means to our club. And the most important thing, uh, we have settled on a, on a position where we've allowed Roger to be granted a release immediately. Uh, he'll fly home to Australia this Thursday um, and avoid any quarantine. And that will enable him to rejoin with his family and also take up his next phase of his career with rugby union at the appropriate time. Yeah, no, it was a real tough decision. Um, I know my family um, were the second and, and just thought, you know, they, they knew that I was here to play footy and, and do my best. And um, in fact, that I was trying to get my family to come back over to, to Australia so that we can be locked down here for eight weeks and, and just go about our business. But unfortunately, uh, I don't, I'm not too sure we were going to return home and that's when it became the issue. Um, when, when me and my family could go back, go back home. And, um, so, yeah, it was a tough, tough decision to leave the group and to leave this club. Uh, sad way to end, the, end my time at the club, uh, especially my last game was my concussion and, and not being able to, to play in front of the uh, friends and family back in Mount Smart and all our members um, and fans. Um, it is a sad way, but, um, you know, COVID has, has, has played a lot of that and we just got to find a way to keep going on and, um, again, I'm just grateful for the club to, to have my support and to keep, to keep supporting me along the way.